Welcome to Northwest High School Grizz, where today we're going to be talking about March Madness. Uh, who's favorite to win that? We're going to be interviewing some seniors about their plans after school, as well as the new principal, hopefully, and how Brawl Stars has taken the mobile market by storm. I'm here with Logan Lighty and stuff. Alright, so did you watch the game? Yeah, I did watch the game. LSU and um, Iowa? Iowa, yeah. It's a pretty good game. I would have to say so myself. I was um, watching it on YouTube because I, I did not have the service. But man, but that game, uh, I'm gonna. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin did you Clark. see her? Oh my God! Absolutely blew on the court. Forty-one points, Peggy. Forty-one yeah. points. I was gonna say seven rebounds, twelve assists, two steals. Dang. Bro, I I watched the whole game. I didn't see her block once. No blocks. No. Dang. But I mean, she did apparently. I mean, hey, she she did amazing, amazing point wise. That's all that matters. You don't need a block when you're scoring 41 points for your team. Well, that's half the score. That's half the score. I mean, she did that. Nice. She went crazy. She I mean, went almost 50 percent three point. That's insane. She did until I think she was like double teamed. She so shy. Yeah, she didn't have anyone on it. It's crazy. 32 point average throughout all of March Madness too. I mean. For, that's, that's, not, that's one of that's one of the best in the whole bracket right now. I think she's the best in this bracket right now. I, you know, I don't know. Paige, 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 Paige Booker. She's <laughs> Paige Booker. I mean, she's not better, but she's definitely. She's good. She's good. up there. You can't lie. She's good. Twenty-six point average is not quite as high as a thirty-two, but I know she's still putting up numbers. She she's still numbers. She's two blocks. She shoot 47. I mean, the Syracuse game, 32 points. Most she had all season. I mean, I I, I know that's less points than uh, Paige, but look at her overall stats. She's doing amazing. She's a big team player here. She was injured a couple seasons back too, as well. I think that was just, I don't know. But I think it was half of the season before and last season. Now she's back, and she's obviously proven herself as somewhat of a difference. It's I mean, the whole March Madness on the women's side is. Pretty crazy right now. Can't wait to watch these next few games. But um, on the other side, UConn and NC State have also made it, yeah, which is pretty like crazy. Men's and women's. All yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing was, the men's NC State, absolute upset. Yeah, absolute. eleven seed. Unexpected beating Duke, one of the big well, four. The thing was, they were what? I don't know if this is before and during the tournament, but they're twenty-six and fourteen the whole time. They were going through rough patches. And, like, I don't know, all of a sudden they got it all together and during the tournament just don't lose the game. It was, I mean, it's been crazy. But let's, you know, DJ Burns, right? NC State player. Absolutely. Dude, he's phenomenal. A big bowling ball, and he's scoring everything he, on your oh team. Oh, my God. Every, like, I watched him, and 90% of the shots he takes should not go in. And then they just go in. Like, he got fouled so hard. And he was like this, and about to fall, and he shot it and made it. And he got the end of it. I was like, this yeah. guy's like magic. I mean, his free throw percent is 75 too, which is like kind of low. That's really good for a big man, I feel like. Like for a that's big man, true. 75% is good. His utility to the team, as well as being able to average around like 30 points, is crazy. I think he's the most exciting and almost the best player in the league. I would say he's inspirational too. I mean, you usually yeah. see these tall, skinny guys, and he, this guy, he, but, like Purdue, he's about to play against Purdue, and they got a tall, skinny guy. Oh my God! Yeah, he's 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 Who do you think's gonna win March Madness? For men's and women's. Men's I have UConn. Like one by one. You have UConn. I really don't. I have NC State. NC State. I think they can upset. I NC State. I know, cause that'd be a crazy upset. Yeah, for I have Camp Park. You have your Iowa? Yeah, I have UConn. I don't even believe in Iowa. I just see Camp Park. She's so dumb. Next up, we're going to be showing some interviews from seniors about what they're doing when they graduate high school and their favorite color. Their <laughs> favorite color. What's your name? Uh, my name is Trey Wimberly. Uh, what are your plans for after high school? Uh, my plans are after high school are to um, work a summer job, make a lot of money, 
and then during the summer take a few college classes at WSU Tech and then during fall semester attend WSU Tech for about two years to get my associates in engineering and design technology uh, and then go to WSU and continue my degree until I get my bachelor's. Dang, okay. And what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is uh, yellow. Banger. Cool. What's your name? Dorian Johnson. Uh, what are you doing after high school? Uh, probably finna go get a job, make some money. What's your favorite color? Purple. Banger. What's your name? Uh, my name is Diego Gutierrez. What are your plans after high school? Uh, I plan to go to college, either WSU or Butler. Okay, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Oh my god. What's your name? Hudson Garcia. What are you doing after high school? Um, I'm thinking about, well I know I'm going to go to college, but I'm thinking about taking a gap year, traveling around the world for a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, what's your favorite color? Uh, I'd say like black, red, yellow. I got like three. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Liz. What are you doing after high school? I'm going to Butler Community College on a full ride scholarship. Okay. What's your favorite color? Oh, uh, red. What's your name? Uh, my name is Elijah Geegan. What are you doing after high school? I'm planning on going to Wichita State University to get a degree in biology. What's your favorite color? I'm going to have to go with blue. Solid thing. What's your name? My name is Jack Snook. What are you doing after high school? After high school, I'm going to enjoy my summer and then go to Wichita State for finance. What's your favorite color? Orange. Nobody wants to hop off for All Stars actually because everybody's been playing the game crazy, absolutely insane. The craze is wild. It's a repeated uh, battle royale arena, constant fight. There's three v three. There's a ten free for all, and you're always you're always fighting new people. Always never a same team going against the same team. It's always different. Uh, it's number ten on three game charts right now, and I think it's going to surpass those other games. You know. What's those of you? It's it's gonna be like top five. I don't know about one. You know, there's a lot of old people that play Candy Crush. Oh. Or I am right. My mom plays Candy Crush. You're not old, mom. I'm sorry. Um, it's grossed over a million, a billion, dollars. as well as downloads going averaging from 1.5 million to four point. No, it wasn't even 4.5. It was 4.96. Almost five. Almost five million downloads per month. That that is crazy. Five million per month. Per month? Per month. So that just means, you know, yeah, I mean, still the, rolling in. Past past two months they've been doing that. That's how they're grossing one billion dollars by doing this crap. I think they released um, Brawl Stars in China. It's a little bit different than the one here in America and in Canada and everywhere else in the world. China Brawl Stars, a million dollars. A million dollars. Hundred. Hundred million dollars. Yeah. Open out of a billion. That's crazy. That's a tenth. China is a tenth of the, the income. Also, the Brawl Stars meta has really taken a change ever since they added Hypercharge, which is another Dude. thing. Another thing that really helped out uh, Brawl Stars popularity. You charge, you charge your super and you charge your hypercharge. You use a hypercharge, it's like a super super. You know what I mean? Yeah. Super super. Absolutely is. Yes. Another thing about it is it's costing money. They keep releasing things that cost money and people are buying them, it keeps grossing income. People keep playing the game because all their friends are playing. It has a big social aspect, which is a really good, really good thing for games. But it's really just taking the school by storm. I, one in probably five one, yeah, one in five people, that's what I was just about to say, at the school probably have Brawl Stars. And I mean, it really doesn't discriminate. As well as all that popularity just from the school, at the Brawl Stars eSports tournament that happens once per year is actually going on right now. And everyone's been tuning in to see them play, but they went from 500K subscribers to 1.17 mil within like three months, which is when this game has really peaked in popularity. Just absolutely insane. Today we talked about March Madness. Um, we interviewed a couple seniors, learned a lot of new favorite colors, 
uh, our new principal, Mr. Self, and looked over some Brawl Star stats. NWH Grizz, that's all we have for today. We will see you next week. Hasta luego. <laughs>